That's recording. You're recording. You're live. This is recording. I got a camera set right here focusing down. That'll be the video. I'm learning new things today. But <clears throat> be that as it may, what we have here is a, a rework of a spindle. A, uh, out of my John Deere mower deck. This is a portion that's up high with the pulley on it. This is the part that's down below, low with the blade. Okay, edit. This are the blades, and if you take a look, you should be able to see that there's uh, like seven or eight teeth that fit into here, okay, that hold it on as it spins. And if you're interested in the part number, there it is down right there and right there. Okay, I bought three sets of these. One's already installed on the current deck. And uh, two more when the time comes. And believe me, the time will come. <coughs> these spindles have a grease, grease fitting, a zerk fitting, that is totally useless. Absolutely useless. This is one that was filled uh, with grease and uh, it failed and things break granted but I pulled the guts of the unit out and in essence this is the part of the uh, is the spindle and assembly is, is a whole Let me make sure I'm seeing that yeah you're seeing all of it except I ought to do it like this and you have the cap that's on the end, the parts that's on the bottom, two bearings, and a shaft that, that holds it into place. This is the correct orientation. But uh, I'm going to flip this around for just discussion point. But when this is assembled, this is all housed in here. The cap is not, it's reversed the other way, and they push against the, uh, the uh, bearings. If you take a look, as a matter of fact, let me do it this way. Okay, this is the way it sits, but you got to compress it. Removing this out, you have a bearing that's on the high side, and this is one that I actually pulled out. You'll note that it has a... Uh, cover on both sides so no grease is going to get into the bearings and you ask well what does a bearing look like after it's run a while I'm going to show you this is the uh, shaft and the next bearing that sits on the outside if you take a look right here you'll see there's a ridge and that's where the part of the bearing uh, basically sits to to spin Okay, let's get this back together. This would be the way that it, I'm going to install it back into here. Now, here's a picture of a good one. Uh, basically, you can see the, the rise there and everything is uh, fine. If you look at one, this one I'm calling bad and destroyed, you can see where the bearing started to seize up and it got uh, that white part and you can look down there right where my left finger is pointing and you can see where the uh, bearing was given way and this one made a sound like there was no tomorrow but uh, so much so I told them to drive it to failure and uh, the grand nephew decided to stop because it was my brother-in-law it was making uh, too much noise so I guess they were scared which is fine I appreciate that. So I brought the whole deck back. As a matter of fact, 
I have another video on that with the uh, deck repair right there, that yellow thing. So I took care of that. Okay, so the bearings, there, there are three types of bearings. And when I wrote this, okay, you have the ones that come with the unit originally. And these are covered on both sides and basically uh, cheap. They're made from China. I talked with my the Napa store. He said they were they had some Japanese ones, and that's this. And you can tell the fit is tighter. And, and these are ball bearings. This is a ball bearing. You should be able to see the balls there. This is a Japanese uh, ball bearing, higher quality supposedly, and it does feel better. And then another one I'm going to test, this is a roller bearing and it has pins. And the problem I left in the bag, you can see that the bearing will kind of just pretty much pop out. So when I install it, I'm going to need to make sure that I put it in correctly. And you can see here that this has space for grease to go around. And it's also open on both sides so it's designed to be greased there's no grease on it at the moment and they have pins that kind of look like my finger here that goes around so that one was this was expensive that's why i only got one and i wanted to make sure before if i upgrade them i'll try and get more of these but i gotta buy them at a cheaper price uh, these were not too terribly expensive. They're about the same price if you get a bunch of them on Amazon. Okay, this is again the ones I'm going I'm going to install one of these and the rest of them are going to be the higher end ball bearings. These have a cap and I remove the cap so they'll get grease when they're sitting in the fittings and I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and this is one of the uh, ones I pulled out of the cheap, uh, I'm going to say cheap, I don't know if it's cheap, less expensive ball bearings and you can see it has a, a different type of grease and that's basically it other than you can feel it's kind of more loose and these indeed are the uh, cap ends and that's a new one and this most likely will end up going over here with this bearing because this is going to go on the bottom where most of the force is is this unit is sitting there and bolted in and it's spinning around. The blade is what's going to hit the rocks and everything else. So it's going to uh, basically have a get smashed around, which is why on the one that failed over here, you can see it's on the bottom because this stuff loosens. Okay, uh, of course this is exaggerated, but that's kind of what's happening. This end gets the brown of the forest. Let me go put this so I don't confuse myself in the trash can so it ends up going on the steel pile. Okay, so I guess the, the next thing are these come this way. So using a razor blade, which is over there, just, you know, let me go show it. Uh, a carpet knife. Using a knife, you fish down in there and these, these come out. This is the one off uh, this unit here, the uh, Japanese one. And uh, this is the, the, the old unit. And let me kind of, well, let me demonstrate what I'm going to do. I guess this is going to come off. Here is uh, the one bearing two bearings and not two bearings this is a the rod what I'm going to do is to install it'll just be these but for set lack of demonstration install this bearing like this this pin back on and you can see that uh, how that it basically it fits and then the other side will be this one, okay, except I'll all be that one. And you see how that is covered? And on the other side, the way it's oriented, the ball bearings will have access to grease. 
So when I fill this up, it actually comes out and will push up against there, push down against there with the Zerk fitting that uh, I'm going to, uh, well, actually clean it there. But, <laughs> but uh, anyway, it'll fill up and this will be filled with uh, basically grease and, and work and be lubricated. You're going to have to remember to do that every so often. But, but that's the goal. And I would think the intended design is someone built this, but for a couple of reasons, uh, basically so it'll fail, or cheapness that they just drove these in with, with just a regular bearing. This is designed, let me say, it will fail over time. You can continue to grease things it will probably last longer. And that's my assumption, but I think it is a reasonable one. Okay, so I guess that's basically it. I'm going to assemble and compress these like this and then put in grease. And then next year, or when the next set fails, I'm going to install them. I'm gonna write on the ones I'm rebuilding which ones are which. Because this, this one here is going to be sitting on the bottom. The ones with the rods on one of them. I'll identify it. And then the, the other two, which will be using the uh, Japanese, the better ones. And, well, those I'll use later somewhere else on something. But that is it. So... Let's see, I don't know how much editing I'm going to have to do with this. Probably not a whole lot. I was testing out my live circuit as well here, or whatever it's called, YouTube Live. See how well that works. Backing this up. There we go. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We talked about the different uh, types of bearings, the rollers and then the two different uh, quality, for lack of a better word, or precision of the uh, standard ball bearings. Removing the covers so uh, grease will go in there. And of course you need to remember once you're done to, to fill all these up with grease because this thing spins up and heats. That grease will come off of the, uh, the top there. So you do have to maintain it once you do this. In other words, with a certain frequency that you use the deck, I'm certain if you, someone would say every day, but we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know too once we, I got new ones, new cheap ones in the mower now, so we'll see how long that lasts. Usually they go a year, maybe two. So with that, I hope to, so light good enough? Let me, okay, extra time video here. This is the, the used one and, and how it looked with the uh, the grease after so long. This, this is running at the same time as one failed. Let me uh, pop this off so you can look at the different types of color. This is the uh, ball bearing of the uh, the Japanese unit. This is the uh, ball bearing and the grease on the uh, less expensive one. And this, these are the uh, pins. And I know someone, eh, I don't know if you're going to complain. Uh, that's it. I may do, no, I won't. This is, this is the other uh, one with the roller uh, pins on it that I'm going to mount in the center of the uh, next uh, decks that I have and do. When that will be, I don't know. I'm gonna bring one or two more mowers back from the farm. It's a lot easier to work on things in a nice environment. All right, that being said, thank you. I'm gonna try and edit this, get it out, go to the grocery store at seven for my Sunday buying of things. Anyway, thanks.